Hello. Hello, is that Mr. Kennard speaking? Yes. Yes, sorry to bother you, Mr. Kennard. My name is Seb Hearn. I'm the local home insulation advisor for the postcode area of RG42. What I was company are you actually calling from? Uh, we're calling from? I'm calling from NRG in Bournemouth, Mr. Kennard. Uh, NRG? Uh, yes. Does that stand for something? Uh, uh, it's an abbreviation of energy, Mr. Kennard. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> Is that yeah. NRG Limited, or uh, what's the actual company? N or NRG Insulation, Mr. Kennard. Yeah. So it was regarded just want to know who I send the bill to for calling a number in the TPS. And NRG Insulation, just trying to find that on the company's house. Just... Oh, there we go. Dissolved 10th of October 2017. That's not good. Um, no, no, NRG Insulation is a dissolved company. So who are you actually calling from? Yeah, NRG, Mr. Mr. Kennard. NRG Insulation Limited, company 101602780, was dissolved on the 10th of October 2017. So what company are you actually calling from? NRG, Mr. Kennard. I just Sorry. Said that we are, yes, we're, but I've you said NRG Insulation. Is that NRG yeah. Insulation Limited? No, it's not. Oh, sorry. What is the company's actual full name? The limited the company. Literally, uh, if I state it right now, it's, uh, I'm looking at this board, it says NRG, www.nrginstallation.co.uk, boom, there you go, Mr. Kennard, that is the company name, NRG. Okay, I'm not trying to be awkward here, but that's not a company name, that's a website. Um, uh, it is a company name, it's a private company name, if that's helps. Right, well, so it's, it's, it's not a limited company, no, so it yeah, must I'd have directors... Uh, sorry, it must have partners or, or, or a person trading as. So it'll be someone or other trading as NRG Insulation. What's that name? Um, I'm not sure, Mr. Kennard. I'd, we're just called NRG. <laughs> well, no. You, uh, the, uh, legal entities are either people or partnerships or limited companies. There's a few others. Um, you can't just be NRG Insulation. You can be someone trading as NRG Insulation, or you could be NRG Insulation Limited or something like that. You can't just be NRG Insulation. Uh, so, well, let me try and find something uh do a second. Oh, Wait, no, there should be a company it, uh, number somewhere or something like that. Yeah, there is a company number. Ah, good. Uh, so that makes you a limited... Perfect. Have you got the company number? Yeah, we do. So what does that mean? Can you tell uh, me it? Uh, what, what do you need it for, Mr. Kennard? Well, I, I, I just want to know who I'm talking to. And you, oh, you've right, been so, so vague, the company number will clarify exactly oh. who I'm talking to. Oh, okay. So 0800. That's a phone number, not a company number. Yeah, you, you want the company number, yeah? Company number, yes. Yeah, the only number we've got is 0800 059 That's a phone number. I want the company number. The company has a number. Yeah, the, no, no, this guy says that 0800 059 9626. That's a phone number, number, that's not a company number. Well, it is a company number. No, I'm sorry, it is a company number. That is, that is our that company That is the company number. phone number, not yeah. the registered company number at company's house. We, company we, don't, have a, we don't have a right. register. That is a, okay, what is, is the name of the proprietor of the company? What's the name of the proprietor of the company? Yes, the, the person who is trading as NRG Insulation. I don't have a c clue, Mr. Kennard. Go, okay. Why don't you actually go on the website? Okay, you do realise that there is actually a legal requirement to be able to identify yourself as a company in a way that is actually properly identifiable, as in a person trading as a company name, or a company name limited, or as a company number. There's actually a requirement in law to be able to do that, and the fact that you can't is actually quite a problem. Well, why don't you go look at the website? Does it say who you are? Let me, I'll have a look now. Hang on. nrginsulation.co.uk, was it? Let's have a look, see if it actually says. Because it should say on there. Right. So if you search that up, NRG Installs Limited. Right, installs that's limited. what you need to be telling people. NRG, you've even got a company number on there. Brilliant. So your company number is 103707742. Yeah. And you are NRG, NRG Installs Limited. Now we know yeah. who we're talking about. You, you ought to know, if you're phoning people, you ought to know these things. It's really, perhaps you ought to make yeah, a note I know. at some point. Because <laughs> quoting your phone number. And, wait, wait, so, yeah. say that again. Can't write that down for myself. Yeah, so. sure. Um, you can look it up on Company's House. It's 1037-0742. It's one, on the bottom, oh, bottom left of your website. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. I, yeah. So you do actually have it on your website, which is great. So on the bottom left of your website, your NRG installs limited. 1037-0742. So does that mean we're all good? Well, that, that means you're good. That means you can now pay me for your breach of the Privacy and Electronic Communications regulations by calling a number listed in the TPS with a sales call, so, um, which is also an offence. So um, I now know who to send the bill to for this call, for my time. 
because you shouldn't be calling people on the TPS. Oh no, we don't. We don't call people on TPS. But um, you just have. What number did you phone? Huh? What number did you phone? Um. Wait. Let me just check. Uh, Can you just so check? Zero one three four 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 two four five three five. Four. Sorry. I want three four four. Sorry. Yeah, it's three four 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 two four five three five. Sorry, I'm, uh, what's after the 01344? Uh, I'm still confused. So it was 01... Okay, one, it was 01344, one, one, yeah. 01344424535. That's an interesting one. I'm actually... Hang on, uh, It's not a number I recognise, so I'm surprised you got hold of me. So, yes. Yeah, so right, OK. If you go so to tpsonline.org.uk slash tps slash registered.ph Wait, 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 wait yeah, but you, yeah, but you just said you didn't recognise that number. No, no, it's, still, just, my, it's still one of my numbers. It's just I don't, didn't recognise. It's one of my numbers. It well, says so telephone number is on uh, the TPS wait, sir, list. It's not one of your numbers. It's not one of your numbers, though. It got you know to what? me. It's one of my numbers. I made it up. I made it up, sir. I just made it up to see what you think, to see what you were going to say, and you just said okay, one of your numbers. Okay, I have you about. I just said it I have about up. twelve thousand numbers that come to me, so it's very yeah. plausible it's one of mine. However, yeah, I just made it up. The number you just made up is on the TPS list. Okay, okay so what up, number so did you, know, you call? I, I made it up, and you just said it was one okay, of your numbers. What number did you call? Huh? What number did I'm you not, call? Well, no, you just lied to me. You just said that was one of your numbers well, when it clearly wasn't I, so I made it up. So don't lie to me, sir. Okay, You're on the basis that you lied to me, I yep. assumed it must be one of my numbers. I'm sorry. No, you didn't. You, yeah, you don't assume things. You don't make assumptions. Okay. You don't make assumptions. I'll stop you can't just make allegations. Well, Could you, well, you possibly tell me what number you did call? Please. I'm not going to possibly tell you what number because you lied to me saying it was one of your numbers and I clearly thought it was one of your numbers. Well, I'm I trying to see if there's a joking. number. I'm, I'm trying to understand. Have I got a number that's not on the TPS which has allowed you to call this legally? Or, you know, if the number's not on TPS, I need to register it. So I'd appreciate knowing which number you called, if at all possible. Please. No. 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 Really? Uh, yeah, really, I'm not going to tell well, you. Unfortunately, I can check it out later by checking the logs on the call system. But You um, can't, because it comes up with no caller ID, so good luck No, with that. I can check the number you called, not the number you're calling from. I can find the number what I'm calling you from. I can you figure can... out which number you called by checking no. the logs. What do you mean to check what logs? I have I have SIP trace logs of the incoming call. So what even is your purpose, sir? What is, I, I need to know what your purpose is. What what are you doing? I am trying to identify if you have called a number on the TPS or not. And because you won't tell me the number you called, I can't tell. If you called a number on the TPS, you are wrong. If you didn't, then I am wrong, and I will get it registered on the TPS. But unless I know the number, I can't get it registered on the TPS. Now you said you don't call numbers on the TPS. Oh. Which is but, good. Wait, wait, wait. I gave you a num I gave you a random ass number. Yeah, which is on the CPS. Said, which is, and then, yeah, but then you were like, yeah, that's one of my numbers. So how many well, bloody numbers have you got? I assume about ten thousand that come through to this phone. You've got ten thousand numbers for that phone. Yes. So what? What? So, what? what are you, who are you working for? Who are you working for, sir? I work what for is, a phone company, which means I've got an awful lot of phone numbers. Oh, uh, yeah, so, and you're trying to get a number out of me so you can I'm trying to find out which of the numbers you called so I can make sure it goes on the TPS so I don't get more calls. Well... Because I thought they were well, all on the TPS. Well, I'm going to be a dickhead, and because you lied to me, I'm just going to not give you that number so you're going to get loads of these calls. Goodbye, Mr. Kennard. So no, you're the dickhead. You didn't even know who you work for. Anyway, I'll be publishing this recording because, obviously, you're a complete dickhead. You have no idea you're calling. You lie to me, make up numbers, claim not to call the TPS, and then tell me a number that's on the TPS. And then won't tell me what number you actually called. That's absolutely amazing. And I bet the number you called is on the TPS, because we make very careful note to make sure we put all our numbers on the TPS. So when I figure out which number it is, I'll know whether you're lying or not. It's gone now, hasn't it? Thumbs up with Mrs. Hello. Hello, sir. Sorry, the line went. Uh, what was you saying? Uh, I've checked. Uh, you called 01344, which is on the TPS. Wait, so you, di so you did find it? I found the number you called, 01344. No, no, and that wasn't the phone number I called. <laughs> yes, it was. Oh, no, it wasn't. 
comes <laughs> in, is it? anonymous to uh, 441344, that's the number that the call came in. Wait, 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 say it again slower so I can uh, make sure it is the correct one. If that so is 1344. Yeah, that's what 400. it is, yeah. No. Yes, definitely, that's what no, the call came into. No, it isn't. Into. That's nah. where the call came into. N Wait, wait, wait. O one three O one three four four. Then what was the next one? Four O O. No, but no. The next, the next one's a zero. That's the next one I've got here. Not you, four. You're, you're miscounting the fours. The back number can't stop at zero. But then another zero. Yeah. Wait, look. Wait, wait. So zero. Wait, what? Zero one three four. Yeah. Four. Yeah. Four. Then what? Yeah. Zero zero. No. Zero. Then. Not zero. I'm not gonna say. <laughs> I'm not going to say which one it is. It's uh, what have you got there? Zero? Do you say zero? Yeah, two zero. zeros. Nah, that's I the got call that, that, that came in from the P uh, uh, PSDN. Well, you must have a really incorrect system there, Mister. No, Hill, that's, I mean, the, that's the what number that came in. Well, no, that's Absolutely. not the number that came that's in. That's what came in through the PSDN. And well, I, you're lying there. No, I'm you're not, lying again. You lied to me before, and then you lied to me again. You are absolutely unbelievable. You are you are unbelievable as well. Okay, the call I, came in. From an yeah. anonymous number at 10.34.26 to 01344. So, you know, that's in the TPS. That's what you called. If you don't even know which number you called, you're not doing very well. So that is the not, it's not, the it's not even got any on. redirect headers in. So, yeah, that's No, you, you are wrong. Well, you are wrong. You need to start, you need, I think you need to fix something where you are sat right now with your system because, I mean, no, you are I think I just wrong. need to sue NRG Installs Limited for breach of the TPS. And you'll have to say which number you called then. You of course I can sue you. Oh, I've sued lots of people. Sorry, you I've taken people to court and got money out of them for calls, uh, unsolicited marketing calls um, in breach of the TPS and the PCR. I've done that loads of times. Yes, I can sue you. Now I know who you are, because we finally found out your company name. You have, of course you have I can sue you. the TPS company, then. No. You have to sue the TPS company. I sue yeah. you. You are the one who's made they, they allowed, us, they allowed the us to give you the number. They allowed us to give you the number. So no, you they just give now. you a list. You can still call. No, they, they, they the allowed TPS. us to give you the number. They gave us the number. The TPS gave us the number. So we called, it up. We called up the TPS numbers. And how do you think I've the got The TPS the don't give you numbers to call. They give you numbers not to call. If you're calling numbers the TPS gave you... Then you're a complete idiot! Wow! Yeah, they are. The TPS gave us these numbers. Right, they give you numbers of yeah, so the people who are listed not to call. So if you're calling the numbers that the TPS give you, you're doing it wrong. Yeah. Oh, well, I, I, thought you, I thought we were meant to call the, 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 the numbers that the TPS give us. I mean, you should be suing them. Oh, That's my then. God! Now that just proves it. I knew that people were calling numbers in the TPS. We now know NRG Installs Limited do this. Wow! That is amazing. That is definitely, this entire call recording is going on my blog Wait. right now. Brilliant. What, what's your blog? I want to know your blog. Me.uk. What? You.uk? No, me.uk, not you.uk. Me.uk. Me. Yeah. So, yeah. It'll anyway, be on there I'm in a few minutes. So, what you're going to sue the TPS then, I think? No, NRG Installs Limited for calling numbers on the TPS. You've just admitted calling numbers listed on the TPS. I have a call recording of you admitting that. I will use that as evidence in court. Okay? No, we, did. I, we, did. we don't use uh, TPS numbers. You just so. said you do. I have the recording. You said you thought that's what you had to do. I have the recording. What? I have the recording. I have a recording of you saying you call numbers in the t from the TPS. I'm just a I'm just a canvasser in a room with about a hundred odd people. So yeah, it doesn't mean you you. So, you, but you've admitted you, as a representative of NRG Installs Limited, you've admitted you call numbers in the TPS. Wait, what is TPS? The Telephone Preference Service. You didn't even know what it is. Oh, is that what it is? Oh, I didn't even know that, sir. Oh. You are an unbelievable know. muppet. You don't even know what the TPS is, even though you're meant to not call numbers listed in the TPS. You've admitted you do call numbers in the TPS because you thought you were meant to. Absolutely well, I, I, just, I, I had a number and what, um, that someone gave me, and then I just called it, and then I just like, try and... Uh, yeah, oh, sorry, oh, the... sorry, I was just following orders. That always works as a defence for someone breaching the um, legislation, obviously. Well, so what is TPS, then? Telephone Preference Service. It's the numbers of people who have specifically said they do not want to receive unsolicited marketing calls, and which it is a breach of the Privacy and Electronic Communications Regulations for you to make such calls. How do you not know this when you work in a call centre and you're subject to these laws? Because... Wow. Because you're an idiot, that's why! 
it's my first day, sir. I mean, well, I, maybe I it should be your last day. You really have right. no clue what you're doing. You don't know who you're working for. You don't know your company number. You don't even know what a company is. You don't know what a CPS is. You're, you're an idiot. I just started here, so obviously I don't know the company. You flipping idiot. Well, of course you should know all this before you make your first phone call. If no, they don't you... teach you any of the things you need to know in order to comply with the law, or who you're working for, then what kind of company is that? That's amazing. That is absolutely know. amazing. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> anyway, you'll be able to see this on my blog later. Bye. Oh, bye. Wait,